Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD4890 1GB video card. What's included with the HIS Radeon HD4890 1GB video card is an installation guide, software drivers, a full game of Stalker Clear Sky, a case badge, one DVI to VGA dongle, one DVI to HDMI dongle, a six pin power supply adapter, and a crossfire bridge. The Radeon HD4800 single GPU series video cards are currently available in models ranging from the 4830, which is the slowest, to the fastest 4890. The HIS HD 4890 video card has a PCI Express interface of 2 compared to the older video cards which had a PCI Express interface of 1. This video card is based on the RV790 core which is built on the 55 nanometer manufacturing process and has 959 million transistors. The cooler on this card is quite impressive and is comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air, forces it across the heatsink and then ports all the warm air outside the case. It's an excellent design that works very well and is used on most HIS video card products. The fan is also temperature controlled which means it automatically adjusts the fan speed based on the video processing unit temperature to achieve the best cooling possible. The the only downside is this cooler occupies two expansion slots. The cooler on this card is comprised of heat pipes which are incorporated into the heat sink. There's lots of fins and the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU and memory. This is one very impressive cooler and will have no problem keeping the video card cool under default speeds. Now while this video card is already overclocked if you're pushing it even further, I would strongly recommend additional case cooling just to be safe. It has two DVI connections, a video out connection, and requires two 6-pin power cable connections. The maximum power consumption of this video card is 190 watts at maximum load and 60 watts at idle. So, a quality power supply that can handle the load is very crucial, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 900 megahertz and the one gigabyte of GDDR5 256 bit memory is 3.9 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 800 stream processing units for vertex, pixel and geometry data, 40 texture units and 16 raster operations. The fill rate is 14.4 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 36 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 124.8 gigabytes per second. This video card has too many technologies to mention in detail in this video, but let me cover the main ones. Custom Filter Anti-Aliasing Unified Super Scalar Shader Architecture Tessellation High Definition Multimedia Interface Output Support and DirectX 10 which is exclusive to Windows Vista Operating System DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video, you can clearly see the difference between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers dynamic lighting, added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments, and so on. This is possible because it manages data transfers between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI, and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience. Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is Avivo HD Video and Display Platform, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. This video card is also Crossfire Multi GPU ready. These latest video cards use a small Crossfire bridge to connect each video card together.
If you're in the market for the fastest single GPU video card, keep this one at the very top of your list. It has all the latest and greatest technologies, including Havoc Physics and DirectX 10.1, so it will support all the latest and greatest games. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.